Greetings, YouTube. Now, as many of the people who watch this uh, channel know, I am child-free. And you know, I don't say childless because I don't think I'm lacking anything by not having children. I just don't have kids. I made that decision when I was 14, and I have never regretted that decision some 40 years later. So I am 54. Um, actually, I should say exactly 40 years later. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people think it's wrong unless you unless you have children. And they are morally outraged when you tell them you don't have children. Now, I'm going to link to a study that talks about this fact, but I can give you my anecdotal dev evidence to support the fact that many people have been morally outraged when I have told them um, I don't have children. In fact, one lovely gent uh, I encountered, uh, upon hearing that my wife is 47, which puts her pretty much out of the baby-making range, um, said that I should get myself a girlfriend on the side who's like 30 or 32 so that I can have some kids. Because, you know, being 54 and a guy, I could still do that. So yeah, he was suggesting I cheat on my wife with a 30-year-old so I can have kids. I told him no. I was pleasant because under the circumstances I couldn't just tell him. No, I, uh, but I did tell him no, that I wasn't interested in that particular um, idea. And uh, I tried to direct the conversation into a different direction. But yes, I often hear people at, uh, outraged and they're confused and they don't understand why I don't just bang out a couple of kids because, you know, a couple of kids are no big deal, which is a really good example of why we have so many problems in the world today because there are people that think being a parent is no big deal when it is the one of the toughest things there is. The problem is is that most people become parents without planning for it. And yet they oppose organizations called Planned Parenthood. I don't quite understand that. But so a lot of times they'll just fall in to parenthood. Push, you know, put tab A into slot B, repeated necessary. It's not a complex pr process. And often it, it happens that people end up uh, becoming parents without planning for it at all. And the way they raise their kids is a fine example of how that happens to be true. They didn't plan at all. And they don't have the skills to do the job. But they do the job anyway. And they always think, you know, you learn on the first one. So, you know, you're tossing the first one under the bus, apparently, while you learn how to be a parent. But I can tell you from having known many people that were middle and, and la the last ch the children in a, in a family, parents don't get good enough fast enough. Because they can do a crappy job on the second and third kid, just like they did on the first. And yet, it's a moral outrage when someone doesn't have children. There doesn't seem to be any moral outrage when... Someone just does a really crappy job of being a parent because they are parents and don't want to think that they're, they're doing a really crappy job. But I can guarantee you, with the number of folks out there who have mental illness, they're doing a really crappy job. Yes, they are. I might go so far as to wish that all the parents in the world would be gay, because gay people at least have to really want to be parents to be parents, and they plan ahead. I'm a big believer in planning ahead, if you can, for such endeavors. And if you can't plan ahead, don't engage in them. And those of us who have chosen to be child-free are no more or less moral than those who have chosen to have kids. And if you get outraged over that, that, that sort of makes you an asshole. 